let's talk about how we get glucose into our cells. So far, we, you know, we talked about how we digest it and absorb glucose into the blood. But from there, once the glucose is in the bloodstream, we have to actually get the glucose into the different types of cells in our body. And glucose can't just diffuse across the cell membrane, it's too big. So we need to have some specific transporters along our the phospholipid bilayer of our cells in order to get glucose in. So there's a whole family of different kinds of um, glucose transporters. These are called the glutes. And we have different kinds of glutes on different types of cells. And all of these glutes, they will work a little bit differently. So let's take a look at GLUT1. GLUT1 is the type of glucose transporter that we have on our erythrocytes, our red blood cells in our liver and in our brain. And um, I will point out to you here that GLUT1 is not insulin sensitive. It doesn't require insulin in order for it to be present. GLUT2, we have already met GLUT2 because remember that GLUT2 is um, going to be lining the basolateral side of our enterocytes in the small intestine. GLUT2 is also on the liver, in the beta cells of the pancreas and the kidney. Um, another type of glucose transporter is called GLUT3. GLUT3 is on the brain, um, in, in the neurons, and also part of the placenta. This is an important one, GLUT4. So GLUT4 is the glucose transporter that is going to be important for our muscle and our adipocytes. What is especially important to point out about GLUT4 is that it is insulin sensitive. Well, um, we'll talk in more detail about this later, but suffice to say for now that GLUT4 is only going to be inserted into the membrane of our muscle and our adipose cells when insulin is present. So GLUT4 is an insulin sensitive transporter. And then additionally, we have GLUT5, which we also met during our lecture on digestion and absorption because GLUT5 is the transporter that is responsible for absorption of fructose across the luminal side of our enterocyte. Um, we also have some GLUT5 in sperm. So overall, the, the moral of the story here is that we have a whole array of different kinds of glutes that will allow us to absorb um, or allow us to take in glucose from the blood into different types of body cells. Um, and the GLUT4 is the insulin sensitive glucose transporter.